Hello everyone, today I'm doing another Disney haul for all of the stuff that I have gotten this year in 2019. So, um, this haul is going to include stuff from Walt Disney World Resort, um, the Disney Store, from Cast Connection, and from Box Lunch. So if you don't know what Cast Connection is, I'll go over that in just a second, but yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and go over what Cast Connection is. Cast Connection is a cast member store at Walt Disney World Resort. So, it's a store, there are several different, like, there's a couple different cast member stores. Um, there's Company D, which is cast members only, and then there's Cast Connection, um, which sells, um, like, Disney merchandise for cheaper, um, discounted rates, and it's a place where cast members can take their family and friends and can go shopping and you can get um, stuff you can find in the parks, you can get discontinued stuff, and all of that fun stuff. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do this video kind of similar to my last Disney haul, except instead of dividing it by seasons, I'm going to divide it by um, category of things. So, let's get started with ears. All right, so our first category is gonna be ears. I've gotten so many pairs of ears this year. It's crazy, like, it's actually kind of embarrassing. It's become an obsession. But Disney has come out with so many adorable pairs of ears just this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some other things that I got. So first up, from the World of Disney Store, I got these Epcot um, bubblegum wall ears. Let's see if they'll... Focus. But um, I got these in January and they are so cute. Epcot is my favorite park and so and I love the bubblegum wall. That's my favorite wall. So I had to get these. These were $28 from the World of Disney store. Um, next, my next pair of ears I got in January as well. And I got these from the World of Disney store. They sold out just a couple weeks after I got them. These are the Mickey 90th birthday ears. Um, they were the ones that they had in the 90th birthday celebration TV special kind of thing. Um, so these are really cool. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, but the bow comes off so you can have just ears, um, on the little tag. It showed this as you can do it as a bow tie if you really want. I don't know. But, um, these were $35. I got them at the World of Disney Store. And something cool about the bow is that you can also move it so it can be to the side. If that's your style, I don't know. But these were $35, and on the side, they just say Mickey 90th. And I got these at the World of Disney Store. So, don't know if those focused or not. But, we've got too much stuff. So, <laughs> next, we're moving on to these donut ears that I got. I got these from Hollywood Studios. Um, at the VIP pass holder event, you can actually check that out in my, Hollywood, in my Incredible Day at Hollywood Studios vlog. Um, really cool vlog. Go check it out. I'll leave that link in the description below if you want to go watch that. Um, but these are adorable. And yeah, they were $28. And I got them at the store just at the front of Hollywood Studios. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. <laughs> Next, I got these Small World ears. These are super, super cute. Um, they, on the front, so they have the little clock design. And then on the front, they say hello. And on the back, they have the clock and they say goodbye. And the one thing, my one complaint about these ears is that the bow is a little bit small. So it, in my opinion, it looks a little bit awkward with the bow, but I still think they're really cute and adorable. And like, here's a, like there's a comparison of the bow sizes. Let's see, there's just, they're a little bit, the bow's just a little bit small, but I guess it's a small world, so yeah. But these are $28 and I got these at Magic Kingdom. All right, next from Cast Connection, my first purchase from Cast Connection, I got these Disney Princess Half Marathon ears. I didn't run the half marathon, but um, I thought these ears were really cute because they have little silhouettes of all the princesses on them. Not all of them, but they have um, Mulan, Aurora, Jasmine, and Elena. And I thought these were really cute. And they were only $10. So that was also part of the reason why I got them because they were only $10. Next, from World of Disney, I get all my ears from World of Disney pretty much. I got these teal and pink ears. They were $28. Um, they kind of remind me of Scrump from Lilo and Stitch almost. 
but something cool about these is that the bow is actually different like the bow is like I don't know if it'll show the bow is kind of strange but these are really cool really cute they were $28 from World of Disney. Next pair was also $28 from World of Disney. I got these Aladdin ears. Um, I love Aladdin. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. They have the little magic carpet and a jewel. Um, so there's those. Next, I got these up ears. Um, they have the little grape soda thing on them. And then there's the house and the balloons. And I got these at World of Disney as well. Um, and they were $28. <laughs> so, next I have three more pairs of ears, believe it or not. And I got these from the Disney store, but you can find them at Disney World as well. Um, first I got these castle ears. Um, if you go, um, to Shop Disney online, they have a Cinderella castle and a Sleeping Beauty castle. So they have a Disneyland version and a Disney World version. They were $28. Got them online. Next pair, same place, same price, are these blue and pink polka dot ears. Um, I love these. These are adorable. Um, I saw these all during my last trip, and I wanted them so bad, but I already got a bunch of ears on my last trip. So I splurged and went online and bought them. <laughs> and then the last pair of ears that I have, I got these Briar Rose Gold ears. They are stunning. Like look at that these are gorgeous they were $28 got them online from shop disney as well love these so so cute and my last thing that's ear related um these are my last pair of ears that i bought so overall that's 11 pairs of ears this year whoops but my last pair of or my last thing that's ear related is i got this from cast connection it is the Sleeping Beauty Aurora Swap Your Bow bow. Um, it was five dollars from Cast Connection. Um, and these they actually discontinued. I got it just because it was five dollars. Um, and I wanted to get the swap your bow ears, but I found out that they actually discontinued them. Um so again, I'm one of the cast members said they might be revamping them because they were really popular, so we'll see. And I just have a bow. Oh, it's cute. It could be cute. I don't know. But that concludes the ear portion of this video. So let's move on to pins. All right, so this portion is actually going to be a little bit short and sweet. I know, unusual, because normally I have a lot of pins. But this time I just have six, kind of, um, maybe eight ish. Um, you'll understand that in a minute. But. First, I went to Festival of the Arts, so I got this Festival of the Arts pin. It's just got Mickey on it, and it was it was sixteen dollars. Um, next, I got these Joffrey's pins because Joffrey's is my absolute favorite. Like Joffrey's, it goes Joffrey's, Duncan, Starbucks for coffee shops. Joffrey's is so so good, and they're only in like central florida which is kind of sad but more news next week um next i got this cronk pin because emperor's new group is probably one in my top five favorite disney movies i love that movie so much and it says squeaky squeak squeaker squeakin there we go squeaky squeak squeaker squeakin all right, and then next I got this Peter Pan pin. It is from the pop-up book collection. So it's just Peter Pan. Um, and then it opens up and it has, it's like a little storybook. And this one was $18. My last two pins I got from Flower and Garden. I got this, um, no, this isn't the past older one. Um, I got this figment pin um because i always get figment festival pins that's just like the tradition um except for festival of the arts as y'all saw and then i got this donald huey dewey and louie pin um because donald is my favorite donald and goofy are actually my favorite five five characters but i love donald donald's awesome so this one was in both of those both of these were 18 dollars 
So that wraps up my pins that I got this year. Now let's move on to, let's do plush. All right, so for plush, first off, I got this Mouseketeer Mickey plush because as y'all know, I collect Mickey Mouse plushes and he is so cute. And then on his little shoe, he's got a little Mouseketeer logo. If it'll focus. For some reason, we're struggling with focusing. Maybe. But anyway, he was adorable. I got him at World of Disney for $20. Next from World of Disney as well, I got this rose gold mini because even though I don't collect mini specifically, if they don't have like a Mickey version, which for rose gold they're not going to, um, I'll get mini because she's cute. And she got little heels. So she was $20 as well. Next from the Disney store, I got this for $30. I think I got the birthday Mickey plush, the 90th birthday Mickey plush. He is ginormous and he was only $30. Like this thing is massive. They also sell him at World of Disney, but I got him from the Disney store. Uh, and yeah, I think he was $30. And then my last plush that I got from the Disney store, I got the uh, this Aurora plush in her blue dress um, because it's the 60th anniversary of 60th, yeah, 60th anniversary of Sleeping Beauty, and um, like they don't sell her in her blue dress normally, so I was like, oh, I'll get her. But she was twenty dollars. So that wraps up my plushes that I got this year. Let's move on to clothing. <laughs> So let's talk about clothing. So first off from Epcot, I got this shirt that I've been looking at for a while from the UK Pavilion. It says never grow up and it's a Peter Pan shirt. It was $37. It's so adorable. I've been looking at it forever and I finally just got it from the little shop in the UK. Next on um, from the Disney store, I got this Minnie Mouse denim jacket. Um, it was on sale. I don't think it still has the tag on it actually, but oh yeah, it does. Okay. So it was originally $60 and I got it for $40, but it's just got these little like pins on the side. And then on the back, it says I'm a member of the Minnie Mouse Club. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. And I got this for $40. Next from the Disney store as well, I got this um, t-shirt that says, sorry, I'm late, I didn't want to come, and it's got the white rabbit on it, um, and it was on sale for $15 from $27. Next from, yeah, from the Disney store again, um, this is from Wreck-It Ralph, I got the Cinderella Wreck-It Ralph tank top, and it was $27. All right, next from Box Lunch, I got two t-shirts. I got this Pixar shirt for $28, but they were on sale. It was like buy one, get one half off or something. So I got this Pixar t-shirt. It's super, super cute. <laughs> and then I got this Dynaco t-shirt, which was actually on sale as well for $15. Um, and I just feel like this would be cute to just wear to the parks, wear to the new Lightning McQueen Racing Academy, which I haven't gone to yet. I'm super excited. Definitely will be sporting this there. All right, next, um, we are going to talk about my Olaf socks that I got from Cast Connection for $4. They're awesome. So, they're so cute. And then I got two hats. So I got this um, Alice hat from the UK Pavilion. It was $28 and it says, I'm late for everything. It's got the little white rabbit. Because you girls are always late, except for work. For work, I'm always on time, early. Um, haven't been late once, not gone one. But, and then this, I got this from Box Lunch and it is um, an Edna Mode hat, just says Mode. And it was on sale for $14 from 19. So, that's adorable. I love it. 
so those are my hats that I got and then I got two bags I know this isn't really clothing but like accessories so from box lunch I got this power line um standout world tour tote uh, it was $14 marked down from 20 and it's actually a lounge fly tote and then on the back it has all the cities and stuff and I actually have a t-shirt that has that on the back of it as well um so if you don't know goofy movie is my absolute favorite disney movie of all time i love goofy movie so so much and then my last bat my last thing that i got is my first danielle nicole bag i got it from the disney store um and it was on sale for from 70 dollars. it was on sale for 30 and then with my disney visa discount i got it for 26. But look at how cute he is so, I feel like this would be so cute to just like take to Epcot on a chill park day and go meet Aladdin and Jasmine and take some cute pictures in Morocco and all that fun stuff. But that wraps up clothing. Now, let's talk about art. So as you all know, I went to Festival of the Arts for the first time this year. You guys can actually go check out those vlogs down below. There's two of them. Uh, I went two separate days. And this year at Festival of the Arts, I got, um, t I got a art. <laughs> art. So um, that's why this is a category. First, I got this Cinderella print. It was $40. You can actually get this at the um, Art of Disney store at Epcot still. Sorry, the windows are open, so there's a weird glare, but it's so pretty. And then next from the Art of Disney store as well, I got this up art. I'm trying to hold it weird so that the windows don't glare. But it was $40 as well, and that's because it's actually like 3D. I don't think you can really see it, but it's 3D, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then also from the festival of the arts i got these two postcards they were five dollars a piece this one is flynn and rapunzel and i got these from um a little cart stand um one of the little art stands that was out and um they were five dollars each and this one's really cool because i don't know if you can see it but there's like all these things so like it says disneyland across and then walt's face is up here and it's like really cool um, and it's got like all these little like designs like there's Minnie Mouse and Donald and all that fun and like all these fun things that you just like if you look at it for a minute then you'll see um, and my last thing my most favorite thing that I got at Festival of the Arts and it is this painting of um, it's this print of Beauty and the Beast and it's done by Paige O'Hara it was $50 and she actually signed it at the bottom where is it so it says Belle to Ashley Page of Hair on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I got at Festival of the Arts. So that wraps up all of my art pieces. Let's move on to my last category, which is miscellaneous. So. My last category of things that I got so um, it's just really stuff that didn't fit anywhere else but um, first I got this I got two magic bands I got the goofy movie magic band um, from the Disney store online from shop Disney it has power line on it and then the other side it's got goofy and max and it says a goofy movie and it was $28 and the second magic band has a story it's really funny um, it actually might not really be funny for you guys um, but pretty much the last time I went to Disney World, I forgot to pack a magic band. And so I was like, whatever, I'll just gold card it the whole way through. Well, we went to Dis uh, we went to Hollywood Studios one night and I forgot my wallet. And I was like, well, it's all right. I probably don't need it. Like, I'm not going to buy anything tonight. Well, I got to the park and I realized that I didn't have a magic band and because I didn't have my wallet, I didn't have a card to get into the park. So my dad and sister actually had to run in and get me a magic band. So I got this BB-8 magic band um, from just like the first little um, store in Hollywood Studios. And um, because this one was $28, I'm going to guess that this one was $28 as well. But don't really know, quite honestly. And then the set next, I got this autograph book from Cast Connection. It was only $2, which was the whole reason I got it. 
Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll use an autograph book for $2. Sure. Next, from Cast Connection as well as where a lot of the Cast Connection stuff is going to come in. Um, I got this Disney Run Disney keychain that actually normally has my spare key on it. Um, but it was a dollar. Let's see if it'll little tiny shoe and it was only a dollar and then next I got this run Disney 2018 magnet because 2018 is when I did my uh, marathon with the Walt Disney World and it was three dollars right and then the last little run Disney thing that I got um, is this bracelet it's an Alex and Ani bracelet and it says I did it 26.2 and I just put it on so it'd be easier to show that'll focus we're just getting my face looking awkward while I'm trying to see if it's focusing there we go it says I did it 26.2 all right and it was only $20 at cast connection so next I gotta see what all is on here oh also from cast connection I got this umbrella for three dollars um it says Disney Institute on it and pretty much I was like that's cheaper than you can get a little umbrella at Walmart like I need an umbrella. I don't have one. So I got an umbrella for $3 at Cast Connection. Next, um, this is where the not Cast Connection stuff comes in. I got this um, Disney Princess mug and it's got all of the castles on it. So there's Jasmine, Cinderella, um, Snow White, Aurora, Rapunzel, and Ariel, so not all of them, but a lot of them. And then it, inside it says, once upon a time on one side, and then the other side says, happily ever after, and it was $17. And I got this at the store in Disney Springs, honestly, I'm not sure, but it's so, so cute. <laughs> Look at it, it's so pretty. All right, and the next two things, I'm actually gonna have to take the camera off the tripod to show you guys, because they are big. These are my most favorite things I've gotten from Disney this past year and they are so cool so here we go all right so first from box lunch this is one of the big things that i got it is a magic carpet tapestry it was 40 dollars um and i just love all the little details and it's so cute it's massive um like it's actually magic carpet size so that's pretty cool i got it from box lunch next this is the biggest purchase that I got this year at um, Disney. I actually got this at Cast Connection. You're gonna see my basement. Ooh, so cool. Um, but I got this BB-8. This um, almost life size, I guess, BB-8. And he's so cute. Um, I can show you guys, he'll turn on it. I'll show him on in a sec and show you guys. <laughs> Yeah, but he has got um, a voice control mode. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's got a voice control mode and a remote mode. And then he also has a follow me mode. Um, and he was $80. Hello. So, yeah. Um, there's just a bunch of different sayings that you can say to him. And he'll react. So, BB-8. Um, but he is so, so cool. I love him so much. And he was $80 marked down from over 200, um, which is really, really awesome. I got him at Cast Connection. Um, and yeah, so that's that. All right, so that wraps up my Disney haul, my 2019 Disney haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and tune in because next week we have such big news coming. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, but you have to tune in next Thursday. New videos are coming every single Thursday and I'm so, so excited. So if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe down below um, because so many fun things are coming and I can't wait to tell you guys. I'm so excited. So until then, that's what's happening. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, please leave it. Please leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to those. Other than that, um, that's what's happening. And I'll see y'all real soon.